a camp that's been occupied since last November by one of the groups, the many groups. The many this was quite a serious clash. I mean, it was an attempt in the, the, the worst of the clashes that took place by the police to retake um, a camp that's been occupied since last November by one of the groups, the many groups that make up this anti-government protest movement. They now want to the protest leaders. Then there were scuffles and quite serious clashes with the police beating protesters, firing either shotguns or possibly rubber bullets. At that point, somebody fired a grenade into the police lines. Uh, seriously injuring uh, uh, some of the police there. One lost his leg and a bullet was fired that killed a policeman. After that, when we were there, there were repeated volleys of gunfire from the police side uh, and that's left a number of protesters. We saw serious injuries. Some of those people who were injured in those volleys of gunfire have now died, two of them. We've had that confirmed. Now, there's a lull now. The police have withdrawn and pulled back. They now look, no longer hold any of the ground that they took early this morning. And they're up against protesters who have fortified themselves really in, in very, very strengthened bunkers in all the places they hold. So the official police tactic has been to try to avoid uh, violent confrontations. But if they're going to take back any of this ground, it seems inevitable there'll be more clashes.